Okay, hopefully everything is still staying together. <sighs> Let me check something. <laughs> okay, so it looks like everything is live. Let me do a quick test. Gonna mute my microphone right quick. Okay, I think everything is working. I think. We shall see. Uh, excuse the noisy chair. This thing is very old and about to fall apart. So, start a new career. military database classified information mm -hmm. requested all right get me in there secure hey secure connection. yeah so i am uh, going to try to create myself in this game as accurately as possible though i admit i doubt that uh, i'm going to get anything close to a, a good approximation of myself Woo, hey, woo. Okay. Going with Baffled Shepherd. Hopefully the sound is okay. Nobody's watching currently. So it may not even be an issue. That don't look right. Oh, I'm all kinds of corrupted, baby. I was... Hmm. I was a spacer. Yeah, sure. Oh, I, I was definitely a war hero. Mm -hmm. psychological profile. And I think Vanguard is what I wanted to be. Vanguard's Biotic Warriors. Pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. Mm. Yeah, I'll get some Biotic abilities and... I'll get the, the, the important thing is I'm going to get my all-important shotgun. I'm going to change that appearance because that is terrifying. Confirm facial identification. Let's see now. Let me get rid of that scar, because that's going to throw everything off. Skin tone. All right, here, here's the first big test. I went the wrong direction. That's ah, not quite paper white. You know, I can't really... I'm not going to be able to go grayscale if you can't even do that, so... Hmm. That's a shame. I didn't know this game was so racist. Whoa, that's okay, yeah. Head, neck thickness. Gonna try to go for pencil thin. Ah, that's as thin as it goes. All right. Ah, this game was not designed with my people in mind. Face size. Oh yeah, definitely got a big old face, big old oval shape. Hmm. 
technically I got no ears, but I guess I'll just make them as small as I can. Let's see, can we go full Will Smith? Eh, that's like partial Will Smith with the ears. That's okay, I don't need to slap anybody anyway. Um, oh yeah, let me get rid of the facial hair. That is also throwing things off. Wait, no, that's the facial hair color, which might as well do black. Now, no beard. There we go. Getting there, getting there. Hmm. I think that's fine as is. Go to the... Whoop. Go to the lip size. Hmm. Do very wide. But hmm. Okay, this is a this is a toughie. I'll just leave it there. I mean, really, I got no lips, so I guess this is as close as I'll be able to get. Oh, oof. I forgot to turn off the hair. By which I mean make them bald. There we go. That's looking more and more like me as we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now for the nose... Wow, really, that's it. Wow, that's disappointing. What about the shape? Mm. Yeah, I'll stick with what it was at already. Why not? Eyes. Can I do blank? Irises. I cannot. Hmm. I'm a little bit disappointed. I couldn't really make myself at all, but this is as close as humanly possible, I suppose. I am, after all, a cartoon, specifically of the stick figure persuasion. But I guess this is the best Mass Effect can do. I'm, I'm crushed, really. I was trying to insert myself into this this universe, and alas, I cannot. But hey, let's go for it anyway, right? I accept. Profile reconstruction complete. Yeah, I'll go normal. No auto level up. That what would even be the point in playing at that time? Let's see. Wait a minute. In classic mode, the original 1 through 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 through 30 level range. So they lowered the level cap for this version? XP and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Eh, whatever. Subtitles on, just for the sake of the stream. It's 
defensive, I guess. Huh? I don't know. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. That's well, me. What I definitely picked that. Spacer lived aboard Starship. Yep, picked that option too. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason the Lysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. In the year 2048, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human, in human history. The civilization of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. What's up, Baldy? I'm one to talk, huh? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Get out of my way, jackass. Who let this alien on board? Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain <laughs> will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. I agree. Story, but only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting off. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Hey, what's up, Dark? How you doing? Long time no see. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we meet Chief Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm. You made him mad. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. Pfft, don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay, access the mission computer. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, I'm going to pause my mic real quick. I got to move around in this old chair, get comfortable again. One second.
All right, hopefully that's still good audio-wise. I've been doing okay, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a little bit agitated because this stream took forever to, to get prepped and ready to go. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Eh, you know, maybe they, they hate his guts. They're setting him up for a trap. Then they kind of want to just shoot him in the back. We do it all the time. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good and did I get man. my schnoz profile at least right? Eh, yeah, close as I could get. Where's Dr. Chakwas? There she is. Did, did they make her younger? What do you think, Commander? I don't remember her looking like that at all. I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends Relax, in Jenkins. Don't go rushing in anywhere. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, ah, you'll do fine, I'm sure. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just read this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody you know, we're not supposed to talk about the Blitz. What happens on the toilet stays on the toilet. You know what I'm saying? You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess What's up. What's up with Nihilus? Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact wars. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I highly I doubt that. To see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a show organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in hmm. humans, no matter how capable. Who would want to be some kind of filthy specter? I definitely don't. Mm -mm, not at all. They're a bunch of no good. Oh, hi. hey, fellow specter. How you doing? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. I'm sorry. These give us a chance to talk. These Turians, they look cool, but they 
still kind of creep me out. They're just too buggy, you know? The captain said he'd meet me like, I don't want to carry around mace. I just want to carry around some bug spray to deal specifically with some of these guys. Is that is that wrong to say? I've heard it's quite beautiful. Never been there, but you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Whoa, what is wrong with your face? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was Why does he look like that? We're making a Did he always look like that? That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like that. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond me. Dude, they went a little overboard on uh, on the textures on Anderson's face. Holy cow! Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. Alright, I misjudged you. At least one of your people aren't racist. You're still very unsettlingly buggy, though. I still feel like I need to call pest control. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself. Great. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they told us in school. Oh, oh, you're talking about the Forerunners. You should have paid more attention in school. They're they're called the Forerunners, Anderson. Nobody knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. Citadel, I, I I think you're talking about the Halo, right? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. 
but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after I don't know, man. I, I think we should have uh, rethunk the whole venturing out into space thing. Just, you know, just hunker down on Earth. Build a great big wall around it. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure there's somebody out there who could figure out the logistics of that. Just you know, just consorting with all these horrifying alien species is. It's it's a lot, you know. It's just a lot to deal with, and now they're like secretively trying to recruit me into their their team. I I, I just I just wanna I just wanna go fishing. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Atticans of Earth isn't the most stable sector of citizen space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon. The hell is that? Attacking an alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Ooh, looks like my kind of party now. That there's a Cthulhu if I ever seen one. Joker, get HP Lovecraft on the horn. Everything cuts out after that. No you comms got some questions for him. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take Joker, fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Alrighty then. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the musk, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about Why are you guys yelling? It's not that loud. This is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. All right, T, then let's do this. So, Kaiden Alenko, how you doing today? Okay then. Smells like smoke and death. This place 
Use touchpad to draw or holster. Wait, really? What a strange button to draw a weapon. It's been so long since I played this. I have no idea if there's stuff. Oh, wait. Upgrade kit. Huh. Yeah, I was just going to say, I don't remember if there's anything I need to be on the lookout for in the environments or what, but yeah, I guess so. Oh, whoops. How do I... No. Oh, what did that just do? No. How do I change to... Whoa, hello. You know what? I'm just going to wait for the tutorial to, to show me things because none of these buttons are doing what I thought they would. Oh. Oh, that's it's a little bit clunky. Wait. Give me my shotgun. Thank you. No, not Jenkins! Leroy! Jenkins. Ah, oh, dang it. Why is that a thing? Why is... Why does Square throw explosive thingies? Wow, he's dead as hell. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Guess you should have waited for the calculations, huh? Okay, is there anything around here? You know what? Are the controls remappable? Because they really are terrible. No, not gameplay. Go back. Oh, no. Welp. Ah, hell. Alright, guess I'll just have to get used to it. Um... Direct a powerful mass effect field that wreaks havoc on a subatomic level. Weakens armor and inflicts damage over time. Wow. I gotta... 
upgrade my pistols to that point to unlock the shotgun skills? What the hell? Well, then I'm going to undo that. Because I want to get to that shotgun skill as soon as possible. I guess I'll put one point into assault training. Now, let's see. I'm going to take my helmet off. So it don't obscure my luxurious bald head. Don't make fun of me, I have alopecia. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, dang it! Ah! Every time I've wasted like four of those things, three or four. Because my instinct is that in a in a game that plays like a third person shooter, I would hit square to reload. Oh boy. Up is attack. Left or right, have specific squad move to a point or attack. Uh, all right. Hmm. Mm hmm. You scout the area ahead and take all the bullets for me. Man, I have to fight with every fiber of my being to not hit square every time an enemy dies, because my instinct is to just reload instantly. Things don't actually seem hostile. They're just really fun to to explode. Hmm. Nice shot. Aww. What a sweet, tender moment. We probably shouldn't be- Oh, my. All right. Hmm. Well, okay then. I thought they were just having a, you know, a, a mutual, gentle embrace. I suppose not. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We try to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon. But oh, we oh the, the this sounds so fishy. I mean, I think come on, we know how things are going in our time. Just imagine in the future how things are going to be going. You know, somebody probably looked at her and said, My, you, you look particularly beautiful today. And she just completely snapped and shot him because, you know, he was being a, 
a sexist chauvinist pig. And then the other ones were like, hey, what the hell? And before they could pull their guns on her, she just opened fire, killed the whole squad. And she's like, eh, you know, I'll just blame this on on uh, toxic masculinity. And I'm sure it'll just get swept under the rug. But she didn't count on coming across me. And see, I don't play that. Not unless I get paid some money. You know what I'm saying? This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. See, she's she's violent by nature. Look at her. We, we gotta put her down like a rabbit dog. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians of the century. <coughs> It was supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, mm, they Perseus Vale. I've heard of tail. I've heard of that before. Nobody's Perseus is a very expensive back. brain. I'm surprised they would uh, be able to afford a veil from them. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Ma'am, are you aware you seem to have a shotgun on your ass? A couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. S sorry, like I said, no Turians. Move out. Press the option button to access mission computer, then go to the squad screen to spend talent points for new squad members. Sure. All right. Increases health. Allows loaded health regeneration. I should probably save in a second. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, matter of fact. Now I got some fancy schmancy camouflage. 
Ain't nobody gonna be able to see me. You there? You there? Me here. Oh, hello. I can sprint. Didn't expect that, did you? Right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Impaling victims instead of just shooting them. It's so weird hearing Carthonassi's voice come out of this guy's face. It's just such a unique voice, and I've only ever heard it in these two games. No, wait. Three, I guess, if you count KOTOR 2. You, a new shot gun. Let's check up on that for a second. Ooh. Ooh, that's a much better shotgun. Nice. Don't exactly match my outfit, but screw it. I'm running! Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard. Man, it's such a violent way to transform them. Jeez. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Wait, how did I I get a sniper rifle in my hand. What I will say is this doesn't feel as clunky as I was expecting it, because I remember... Mass Effect 1 being very, very, very rough around the edges. But the controls are still horrible. I mean, they... Uh, I wish they would have made the controls completely remappable. Because I'd be able to come up with a much better solution than, than the layout that there is by default. That was it. Fumes. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. 
I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, Where the hell did Kaiden go? It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity. Someone's an optimist. Only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. Mm. We just Sounds like Friday started. nights in my neighborhood. You do not want to be near a window, let me tell you that. You notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communication work. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awaken the beast. Dude, like, what is, what is, I mean, I'm not one to talk, but what is up with that guy's head? Not, not just what's in it. Clearly, he's all screwy. But what is with the shape of his head? Like, the bottoms of his ears are flat. And they just go straight into the side of his neck. It's it's a weird situation. I feel like I need my bug spray for him. He's like uh, he's like Edgar from Men in Black. That's what he's reminding me of. Weirdly. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god. What did you do? I, I think I can. Actually, I'm the hero of this story. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. There we go. Sorry, it's it's so hard to get comfortable in this stupid chair. Okay, is that everything? Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Loot crate. Six points. All right. Yeah, this is a Bioware game. Gonna max out the charm. For show, sure, for show.
Get my gun. It's you! I can't remember his name already. Oh, wait, Nihilus, Nihilus. I guess? This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. No! He done shot you in your buggy head! Ooh. Kite in there. Actually there. Gonna just uh how do I throw a grenade? Oh yeah, square. Simon Sales, Simon Sales. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Protean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. Oh, we're whatever this stuff is, you are giving it to me right now. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. Exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but 
You probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the space? Oh, you're going to snitch to me right now. My charm skill is maxed out as far as my, my current level. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Let's see what the big deal about that pistol is. Alright, not bad, actually. I was ready to talk shit. But, uh, I guess I would've got shot. Nihilus! Ooh, a box. So any, any other goodies around here? I mean, Nihilus is already dead, I can tell, so there's really no rush. Dramatics aside. Eh, excuse me. Ah. He's so ugly! Shoot him! Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. Then Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. The attack? No, no, you just think the beacon made everything go to hell. You, you should talk to my friend Isaac Clark. I don't know, maybe you know him already. He knows about an unknown object making things go to hell. Let me tell you. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crate? They never had a chance. I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get... You scoundrel! I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40... Of course he did! Can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the guests are Yes, in solidarity with your friends and co-workers. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Your calls contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? 
My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Eh, I probably should have been rougher on the guy just for the fun of it. Oh yeah, I never investigated his body and I lost my opportunity. Whoop. You at sucker? Retreat! I forgot to look for crates. Is there anything here? Anything at all? No? Okay. Whoa, that's a that's a biggin. Oh, slow down, biggin. Oof. What are you at? What are you at? Y'all going crazy? Where they at? Booyakasha. So is it like normal that he's like half borged out, got wires coming out of his brain and all that other stuff? Because Nihilus didn't seem to notice. He's also got robot eyes.
Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Ah, dang it, again with the reload. Oh, I did not, uh, I did not notice the timer. That's a little bit inconvenient. Ow. No, don't, don't sit on it. Disarm it, dumbass. Disarm it. Dis ah. What the problem is? There we go. Oof. The hell? Oi, where'd you come from? I'm gonna bonk you. Bonk. Bonk. I missed. Bonk. Nothing beats the power of my epic bonk ability. I have a medium Turian armor, but I have no Turian. Simon says, let me in and give me the goodies. Thank you. Ah! Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna readjust again. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, I do have a grenade upgrade, don't I? Um Yeah, I'll go with that one. High explosive sounds good. Biotic amp. I don't I don't got no amps. I'm ampless. Um
All right, what can I give Ashley? Oh, she can't wear heavy armor yet. All right, then. Okay, I'll go get the crap downloaded into my brain. Let's get this story started. That's not where I was standing, but all right. Gonna approach dramatically. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Man, that was a close call. Her xenophobic ass was almost the chosen one. Xenophobic, of course, as in she would be horrified by xenomorphs because <laughs> she hates aliens. That's 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 the joke. That's about the only thing I remember about her. Identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans. Oh boy, have a Kylo Ren fit. Yeah, I saw that coming. Dreaming of big blue boobies. I don't know why. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepherd Damn it, Anderson, I told you I'm just not into you. Stop with these private I conversations. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. 
That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. <laughs> I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of no the shit. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation as politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. Oh, that's fantastic news. Uh, side note, Anderson, why does your skin look like bronze stone? What, what's going on there? You know, you, you, you're gonna, like, whatever your skincare routine is, you, you, yeah, never mind. I'll find Gotta exfoliate, dude. It's not that easy. He's a spirit. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We proved Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. Well, unfortunately, it looks like my time is up. I'm going to go ahead and do a third save. Why not? Oh, I really hope when I go to watch this stream back, everything is actually fine. And, uh, you know, I didn't have any, really any live viewers that I saw. But, oh, wait. Hold on a second here. Looks like I actually have somebody. Oh, hey, it's Mark. What you doing, dude? You're just in time for me to have to leave, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it's, it's nice to I see you pop in. I was just going to say, like, Dark popped in for a second. I was about to thank him for, for stopping by. But now you too. Thanks, guys, for for dropping in. Hopefully, if anybody watches this, you know, on the video on demand, it's somewhat entertaining and... Uh, doesn't stutter or anything because I don't have a good way of monitoring all of this while I'm going and OBS was uh, To put it lightly a bitch when I was trying to set up the stream so I Don't know I wish I didn't have to use it But I like being able to schedule streams so I kind of have to because for some reason that's not an option on console Which I don't understand
But yeah, I uh, got a couple texts from my brother, so it looks like I got to get out of here. So once again, guys, I'm baffled, and I hope to see you guys next time.